Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to install my Kali Linux dot files so your desktop of Kali Linux can look like this. Um, a lot of people wanted me to create this video about how do I customize my Kali Linux um, and how do I get everything like I have here. So you can, for example, open multiple panes and you can drag them around. You can make them floating like this. Um, you can also I guess I shared my tmux config, so your tmux will look like this. Then I shared my neovim config, so uh, you can't really see anything right now, but if I, for example, open some kind of a file here, let's see, uh, let me open this showcase.c. So then we have quite a lot of uh, like colors and stuff like that. We also have super vanin, so we can see that it automatically completes, uh, and of course, uh, every other dot file that is necessary to, to make your Kali Linux look like this. So without further ado, let's get into the video and I'm going to show you how to set it up uh, completely. So here I am on a fresh Kali Linux install and as you can see, there is nothing like my config from the other uh, Kali Linux. Everything is fre fresh here. So if you go to the description, you will find the link to my dot files. And this is my GitHub with my dot files. Uh, those dot files were originally created by this guy, Demon Rules, and I just uh, took his this dark profile and then I modified it myself, added my own uh, terminal configuration and everything. So uh, credit goes goes to him for creating the original uh, config, but his config didn't work well, and uh, you had to manually install a couple of packages and my config automatically does everything. So if we copy this link, we go to terminal, and then uh, we git clone this config. Git clone. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit maybe, like this. We can see that we have the dot files here, and if we go to zero-dg dot files, we have the install script. So to install it, you basically just have to chmod, plus x install.sh and then sudo dot slash install.sh and then click on enter, enter your password and then you will have to wait for the installation to finish. So I'm gonna speed up the video right now and then um, we are gonna come back when the installation is done. So here we are, our config has successfully installed and as you can see there are some like errors, I am not sure why that happened. And then uh, we also have the font changed a little bit but it's fine. So what you want to do again uh, after installing the config, you just have to click on this logout button and then click on logout. And then after logging out, you will see the screen, let me wait for it to load. Then click on these three arrows, uh, those three lines here, and then click on i3, and then log in again with your credentials. So here we are on the system, and uh, I'm just gonna show you just a couple of things before uh, explaining how to use this config. So if we press Alt plus Enter, we are going to open a terminal. Uh, and in the terminal, um, let's see, I pressed the wrong button. And in the terminal, I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit, uh, what you want to do is maybe just a little bit out, uh, like this. Uh, let's go to ba back to 0 gym dot files, and as you can see, your terminal doesn't look like mine, like I showed you in the start of the video. And that's why I created this script, um, which is this, uh, this install uh, terminal.sh, a fixed terminal, and that's uh, dot slash fixed terminal. And then we can see that our terminal changed, but it still doesn't look like I showed you. So ju you just want to close the terminal and open with the Alt Enter again. And then we can see that it looks uh, identical to the one I showed you. So now uh, how to use my config. So as you might have seen, I can change my wallpaper like this. And basically I just created a keybind. Uh, so if you press Alt plus Shift plus P, 
you will change your wallpaper here and then you can see there are a couple of pre-installed wallpapers if you want you can just install them into your uh i believe dot wallpapers folder cd dot wallpapers and then on your home directory dot wallpaper there are a couple of wallpapers if you install your own wallpaper then you can just press alt shift plus p and then you will you can write on randomize it uh, randomly get this your wallpaper um, the next thing that you have is alt plus shift plus h open see browser um, it doesn't work for, for some reason maybe you have to update it but if you press alt plus d you will open this row file and this is basically you can open any app with this so if you type in firefox for example firefox let's see uh firefox open um and let's see can i open just firefox without esr firefox i can so i'm not sure why alt plus shift plus h doesn't work uh, so if something happens and something doesn't work for you you can always edit the config files so of course like i said i added the new vim config so if you type in vim then you will uh, you will get the screen open of new vim then you just have to wait for everything to install here you will you can see some errors but you just have to restart new vim again um, so far everything is working pretty well here then i'm just gonna let's wait for the installation to finish open new vim again then if there's the super maven if you don't have super maven subscription then you press on colon and use uh use super maven free like this um or super maven use free and then you will use the free version and everything is working fine here so if something is not working for you every config is in uh, your home directory.configs folder and then you can see all of these configs so alacrity alec i'm not sure how to spell it is a terminal uh, we are using here just a normal gnome terminal so it is not like important for us then there's this bin uh, in bin we have all of the scripts that make all of those like targets and stuff possible you can edit your hack the box target and stuff like that so the next thing in dot config uh, let, let me just open it in new them uh, I guess if something doesn't work here you will probably have to update your new them because while when I install with the APT um, it just is not installing the latest version so you just have to update it then we have uh, copy queue that's my config from copy queue if you haven't seen go watch my video on copy queue and how do you use it it's uh, like you can open this uh, clipboard manager and if you for example copy something here control C and open it you can just drag your the things that you copied around it's super great definitely go check out my video but it's automatically configured here then we have dconf it uh, is like for uh gnome terminal then the next thing is i3 which is all of this environment if you go to i3.config you can see all of those configurations that i have here so let's say a uh, modifier which is an alt key uh, alt plus shift plus p changes a wallpaper like this so it just changes the wallpaper um then we have for example uh, alt plus p opens this uh flame shot where, where we can just copy stuff and if you don't, if you're not really if you're not uh like familiar with how do you use this um you can definitely go ahead and read this config it's not large uh, and it's not difficult to understand um so what did i not mention else i guess if you want to change all of the like tabs here on on top you can alt plus one opens the first the tab group alt plus two the second third the three four five and etc if you want to move things so like i want to move my terminal to the first pane let me open firefox here so it's easier to understand so if I want to move my terminal to the first, for example, 
Alt plus Shift plus 1 and then it moves the first one. If you want to drag the windows around, you can Alt plus Shift plus Space and then they will pop out like this and then you can just click on your with your mouse and then drag them around. Alt plus Shift plus Space uh, makes them like this again. You can drag your windows around also like this. You can put them at the bottom, at the top. Um, yeah, that's that. What else? Um, let's see. Let me just look at the configs here. We have the row fi config. It's just default row fi. I haven't actually modified it. Row fi is this uh, like the thing that you open can open apps with. If you, for example, take a look at my uh, to my Arch Linux, my row file looks like this, and it's much uh, prettier. I guess I modified it a little bit more here. So if you want to modify it, I can make a video on how to modify row file. So just leave a comment down below. Um, but I guess that's going to be it for this video. If you have some questions about my config and if you would like to see some improvements. Uh, please make sure to leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the video and I will see you in the next one. So take care and goodbye.